Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to QHE channel. In this series of videos, Alhamdulillah, we are learning regarding simple Arabic verbs. This particular session, session 11D, should be our last session for command verbs. So let's begin, inshallah. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Let's see what we are going to learn today, inshallah. What we are going to learn today that we're going to learn what should be the vowel of the Hamza for the second person active simple common verbs corresponding to the six types of simple verbs. We will also learn how to identify second person active simple common verbs in the midst of other words. And inshallah, we will practice identifying common verbs from Quran. So let's move on, inshallah. Let's do a quick review, inshallah. So what we learned from the previous session is that the Hamza that the second person active simple common verbs carry at the beginning of the verbs is the Hamza Tulwasli. Okay, this Hamza looks like this. It looks like an Ali with a small sword on top. Okay, this is Hamza Tulwasli. It's also called connecting Hamza. So this Hamza comes at the beginning of second person active simple common verbs. This Hamza is not pronounced when it is preceded by a letter. For example, over here we have Fadhab. Okay, over here I'm not pronouncing this Hamza. This particular word starting from the Hamza, this is actually a second person active simple common verb. And I'm not pronouncing the Hamza. So when it's preceded by a letter, it's not pronounced. This Hamza is not pronounced. But the Hamza is pronounced when it appears at the beginning of a verb, verse or a sentence. Okay. So for example, over here, I have, if I have to read from the beginning, how I'm going to read, I need to pronounce this Hamza. But I do not know the vowel yet. So this is something we will learn today. Okay. So let's move on, inshallah. Now, we do not know the vowel of the Hamza, right? So we need to learn that. So how would we know what will be the vowel of the Hamza? The vowel of the Hamza depends on the vowel of the second root letter or the ayin position root letter in the active common verbs. Second root letter or the ayin position root letter, or you can say the middle root letter. So the vowel of the Hamza depends on the vowel of that root letter. If the second root letter has dhamma, then the hamza will get a dhamma also. Okay. If the second root letter has fatha or kasra, then the hamza will get a kasra. So this hamza, hamza tulwasl, for second person active simple common verb, it can have either dhamma or kasra. So one easy way to remember if the second root letter has dhamma, then it will have dhamma. Otherwise, that hamza will get a kasra. Now let's look into all the six types, inshallah. Okay, so we have a chart here that's showing all the six types. You remember the six types. We had type A, which is Nasoro Yangsuru, type B, Dora Bayagribu, type C, Sami Ayasmau, type D, Fatahayaftahu, type A, Karumayakrumu, type F, Hasibayahasibu. Remember from the early sessions. Okay, so now let's go over each of the type and try to uh, figure out what should be the vowel of this Hamza. So this is Hamza al-Wasl. And after that, for the type A, we have three letters, right? Because we are learning simple verbs. So it's always three letters, three root letters. So what is the middle or the second root letter? Saad. Saad has bomma, So Hamza al-Wasl will have a bomma. So how I'm going to read? Unsu. Okay, Unsur. What's the base meaning of uh, Nun Sodra? To help. And this is second person. What does second person mean? You, right? And who is the you here? Single male. So one, one male. So I would translate, you must or should help. Next one, Unsura. Okay, this is second person dual male, two males. So I should 
translate you must or should help. Over here, you are like two maids. Next one, Ung Suru, second person plural maid. So how I, sh I should how I should translate? You all must or should help. And over here, the you is a group group of maid. Next one, Ung Suri. Okay, second person singular female. So like a she, for example. So you must or should help. Over here, the you is a female, one female. Next one, Ung Suro, second person dual female. You must or should help. Over here, the you is two females. The last one, Ung Suru, Ung Surna, Ung Surna. So second person plural female. You must or should help. And over here, the you is a group of females. Okay. And Dhamma for definitely Dhamma for Hamzat al Wasi because the second root letter has Dhamma. Let's go to type B. Type B, after the Hamza, we have three letters and the middle letter has a Kasra. So middle letter does not have a Dhamma. So the Hamza will get a Kasra. Hamza can get either a Dhamma or Kasra. If the middle letter has bomma, Hamza will get a bomma. If not, then Hamza will get a kasra. So middle letter does not have a bomma, so Hamza will get a kasra. Idribu. Okay. Again, Doraba Yadribu, what is Doraba? Like to strike. You must strike. Idrib, Idriba, Idribu, Idribi, Idribna. Sorry. Idriba, Idribna. Okay. You notice that the dual have exactly same suffix comes both the time, like two times. For example, ung sura, ung sura, idriba, idriba, twice. Okay. One time, once it's second person dual male, second person dual female. Okay. So it depends on the context you're reading. So from here, we know that's type B. We're going to read as Ibrib. So the Kasra for Hamza. Type C. So we have after Hamza, we have seen Mim Ain. Mim is their second root letter. It has Fatha. That means it's not a Bomma. So the Hamza will get a Kasra. Isma, 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 and so on. Type B. After the Hamza, we have three letters. Middle letter has Fatha. That means the Hamza will get a Kasra. Iftah, Iftaha, Iftahu, and so on. Type E, middle letter has Bamma. So the Hamza will get a Bamma. Ukrum, Ukrum, Ukruma, Ukrumu, and so on. Type F, middle letter has Kasra. So the Hamza will get a Kasra. Ihsib, Ihsib, Ihsiba, Ihsibu, and so on. Okay? And the, and the vowel of the Dhamma, or sorry, vowel of the Hamza shown over here. So you can see the second root letter has Dhamma. So the Hamza is getting Dhamma for Hamza. Second root letter does not have a Dhamma. So Kasra for ham, Hamza. Second root letter does not have a Dhamma. So Kasra for Hamza. Second root letter does not have a bomma, kasra for Hamza. Second root letter has bomma, so the bomma for Hamza. Second root letter does not have a bomma, so kasra for Hamza. Okay. Now, a few more things we should notify over here. Le now, let's look at the configuration or the conjugation of these verbs. Okay. So, second person active simple common verbs should have uh, Hamza. At the beginning, Hamza was at the beginning, and should have three root letters where the ending condition we have to pay attention. Ending can, condition can be such that the last root letter should have a sukun or the last root letter should have these suffix. The suffix can be al alif, wow, and alif, it can be ya, it can be alif, it can be nun fatha. So these are the suffix we should be familiar with. Now let's take a quick look 
what we should look in as a summary when we are trying to find second person active simple common verbs in the midst of other words. They should have, let me go down a little bit so you can see the whole thing. Okay. So when I'm looking for second person active simple common verb, I should look for Hamzatul Wasl at the beginning of the word, right? So that's the first thing. And followed by the Hamza, there should be three letters following the Hamza, right? Where the third root letter should have a sukun and no suffix. For example, over here, izhab. Okay. And how do I know I, this should be this should have kasra? Because the second root letter has tatha. It's not, does not have a bomma. So it should have a kasra. That's why I'm reading ilhab. So either the last root letter should have a sukun, or following the third letter, there should be a suffix as shown as in the previous chart. Previous chart, for example, over here, ilhabi, ilhabi. Okay. Previous chart, we showed. So uh, what are the suffix? Like alif, uh, then wow alif, okay, yeah, we, we just saw those suffixes. So the way to identify second person simple active common verbs, it should start with Hamzat al Wasl, and the last root letter should have a sukun, or it should have one of the suffixes that we just saw. Now let's go and try to identify the second person active common verbs in the Quran, inshallah. So that way usually we do, we are going to browse over the verse, inshallah, bismillah. So this verse, this particular sentence, it starts with, you can see a word that has Hamza the Ross. Now does it fulfill the criteria that we just learned? So let's see. So after the Hamza the Ross, we see three root letters and the the third root letter has sukun. So it is second, second person active common verb. Okay, so this is our pick, inshallah. So let's identify that. And let me see whether there are more words that start with Hamza the Wasl. It does start with Hamza the Wasl, but this is, you can tell, this is a name, right? This is the name of Allah. So this is not a verb. How about this one? I told you before, whenever you have Hamza to Rasul and after that you have Lam Sakina, that is a definite article, okay, like the in English. So this is not a verb, okay? Plus you can also tell, right? The ending condition does not match. No more, okay. Alhamdulillah. Now let's go and identify this word, inshallah. Okay, Bismillah. So we are going to identify this word. So this is our second person active simple common verb. How I'm going to read it? So the second root letter has a bomma. So I will read Hamza with bomma, right? So I'm going to read Ungru. Ungru. Okay. This is second person active common verb with bomma for the Hamza. Okay, aspect is second person singular male. Okay, so this is the doer. Root letters, noon, wa, ra. Okay, if you exclude the Hamza, root letters are noon, wa, ra. So, nether, young guru. That's the pattern. Base meaning is to see. Final meaning, you must or should see. Second person is always you, right? Who is the you over here? Is it male, one male? you must or should see, okay? Now let's move on, inshallah. Let's look into another verse, inshallah. So now let's browse over, inshallah. And we are looking for a word that starts with Hamza the Rasul. So again, this one is Hamza the Rasul and the Lam Sakina. So this is, a, this is not a verb. And you can tell it, a shaytan. So this is not a verb. Okay, let's continue. So this word we can see it starts with Hamza al-Wasl. And let's see, 
how many, whether it meets the criteria. So one, two, three, it does have three root letters and how about the suffix, does it uh, sound that, or does it look like we saw this before? We did, right? If you go to the table, this is one of the suffixes. So this is a second person active simple command, inshallah. So let me put this one. Okay, alhamdulillah. Now let's move over, inshallah. And let's see whether we have more. How about this? This one is does start with Hamza Tawasil and but Lam Sakina, this is definite article plus also the ending condition does not match. This is not one of the ending conditions for the command verb. No more. Okay, alhamdulillah. So let's let's find out the identification, inshallah. Okay, so this is our word. And how I'm going to read. What's the vowel I'm going to use? The second root letter has kasra, means it does not have bomma, so I'm going to put a kasra for the hamza. So I'm going to read e bihu, e bihu, okay? This is second person active command verb with kasra for hamza. And from the chart, you can tell this is, who is the doer? Second person plural male, okay? It's a group of male. What are the root letters? If I exclude the hamza and the suffix, the root letters are ha, ba, po, ha, ba, po, ya, bihu. Okay, that's the pattern it takes, and you can and you know how to how to find it from dictionary. What is the base meaning? Base meaning is to descend or to settle down. Final meaning you. It has to be you, right? Because we are doing second person. You all. Why I put all? Because it's a group plural male, it's a group of males. You all must or should descend. Okay, alhamdulillah. Let's look one more verse, inshallah. Okay, so we have a verse here and let's browse over. Okay, so I see a word that starts with the Hamzat al and one, two, three, three root letters. Okay, how about the suffix? After the third root letter, do I see a suffix? I do see a suffix. Ya is a suffix, it, it is a suffix. It is one of the suffixes, right, from the chart. And it is a correspondence to what? Second person, singular, female. So this is one of our picks, inshallah. Okay, now let's look more. How about this word? Was Judy? It does, right? Because you have Hamzatul Rasul, then you have one, two, three, and after the third root letter, you have a suffix, which is one of the suffixes we learned. So this is also one of our picks. Okay. Let's move over. This one, it does start with Hamzatul Wasl. One, two, three, three root letters after the third root letters. This is a suffix, one of the suffixes that we learned. So this is also one of our picks. Alhamdulillah. Now let's see more. And this one does start with Hamzatul Wasl, but this is not, it does not look like a verb at all, right? And you can tell from the suffix also. So now let's go over, inshallah, and let's identify. So the first one we have this verb. Starts with Hamza, then this conjugation. How I'm gonna read it? The second root letter has Dhamma. So how I'm gonna read? Okonoti, Okonoti, okay? And the, the only conjugation that has ya in the verb is second person, singular female. So let's do the whole identification. So this is obviously second person active command verb with bomma for Hamza. And the doer is a second person singular female. Root letters, if you exclude the Hamza and the Ya, the root letters are Qaf, Nun, Da. What, uh, 
pattern they take konata ya konoku okay base meaning to be obedient final meaning you must or should be obedient okay let's do the next one sorry I'm having this here so the next one is we read is like was judy but if i have to just analyze the verb i should know the vowel of the hamza because i just i want to read the verb itself so did uh, the second group letter has a bomma so, so the hamza should have a bomma right so us judy okay us judy this is also second person active common verb with bomma for hamza and obviously the doer is a second person singular female because it has ya as a suffix root letters are sin jin dal sajada yes judu base meaning to bow down final meaning you must or should bow down okay and we have one more from this verse let me go over and show that word walkari okay this one we have to see. Let's go to the next page, inshallah, to see the identification of this verse, I mean this word. Okay, so over here, we have this word. This is the command verb. How I'm gonna read it? The second group letter has fatha, means does not have a bomma, so I'm gonna put kasra, irukari, okay? This is second person active command verb with kasra for hamza the doer is a second person singular female root letters are ra ka ain ra kara yarba base meaning to bow in prayer final meaning you must or should bow in prayer okay just to have more completeness inshallah i think you realize this verse surah al ali imran this is when the angels gave this message to Maryam. Alhamdulillah. So now let's see what's coming up, inshallah, in the next session, inshallah. So alhamdulillah, we finished today the command verbs, alhamdulillah. So the next session, what we're going to learn, we are going to learn emphatic simple verbs okay for example la okay we will go over that example more the charts of these verbs and definitely inshallah we'll go over examples of quran alhamdulillah we finished the command verbs for simple verbs and if you have any question please put in the comment section and there should be the document under the description until next time please keep us in your dua Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.